Tonight, violent crimes have continued throughout 2020, but with the COVID-19 pandemic, court proceedings have slowed down. Allison O'Connor joins us live in the newsroom. Allison, how are victims' families handling this? Paige, a violent crime case is difficult on its own for a victim and their family, but now due to the pandemic and closures, many court hearings and trials have been continually pushed to further dates. And for the family, it's becoming more and more difficult. There's just a lot of emotions going around right now, and it is really hard. The Wiregrass Angel House helps victims and families through the process of violent crime cases, from the original hearing to the verdict. But now with COVID-19, it has become more difficult for those people as the courts have to follow all the new precautions and guidelines set to combat the pandemic. I do think that we've had a lot more families come to our counselor and not maybe not necessarily just because of the courts and COVID, but right now is it's a very lonely time. Dothan police explain that not only the courts have changed, but the way they speak to victims and their families and how they run a case has changed due to the virus. And it has been extremely difficult on all parties. The, the complications this year has just made it that much worse. So we don't know what next year is going to do, but I would say it was probably it's possible that um, to start the year off with more frustrations and and not knowing what the future holds. So I could see how that could be worse too. While next year is no guarantee, the Wiregrass Angel House has continued their memorial events and is always there to help victims and families through the difficult times. That is where Angel House and all of our families that we serve come together and lift each other up and offer that support for everyone. The Wiregrass Angel House will continue to help their families and Dothan police continue their work despite the slow going and hope to eventually close all of their cases. Back to you, Paige.